Staff of the Observer newspaper were shocked to find 16 desktop computers, four laptops, two cameras and a television set including electric gadgets missing from their offices in Kamocha. The outgoing editor, Richard Kavuma, who was among those who arrived first, sensed something was wrong. I think whether it's a simple robbery or, uh, or not, it's an attack on a media company. And I think as a media organization, when you're attacked, someone is trying to silence a voice. The security guard on duty, Isaac Chebet, was nowhere to be found, but his uniform and gun were there. The company is still reeling from a similar break-in on 15th October last year. ASP cadet Muhedeza Andrew says this was a well-organized group of criminals. But I have established he's from KPI security. He was armed, the gun was left there, he removed the uniform and the an extra uniform, uh, or in the form of a sweater, from uh, another company, protected, uh, was also found with a gun. So he suspect he, he connived and he did what he did and ran away. Um, they've gone to mainly, uh, they've, uh, they've mainly affected editorial. Accounts is intact, circulation department is intact, um, the store is intact, the cashier's place is intact. Three bags that have been ransacked in the finance department office of the Observer Print House, including a wallet here. I don't know how much was taken, but also uh, we move also to the marketing room here where also nine computers were taken, including CPUs and every little electronic gadget taken away by the thugs. This just comes at a time when only four weeks are left to mark the World Press Freedom Day. Kavma says the closed circuit television server was also taken. Yeah, I would imagine we have some IT backup, but I think the the most important backup that we have is our heads, because they didn't kill any of us. There have been several cases in recent years of break-ins at NGO offices in Uganda. In 2016, three human rights offices in Kampala were raided, and the NGOs petitioned the police chief general Kali Kaihura to urgently investigate this kind of crime. In the 15th October incident at the Observer newspaper offices, 21 computers and an assortment of items were taken in a similar fashion. Andrew Rinitwe, NTV Weekend Edition.